me the hundred and fifty dollars. <throat> That's enough, right? It was enough. Jacob had promised that if I could pay to have it sterilized, I could adopt a dog. <laughs> if it was a boy, it cost hundred fifty dollars. They're cheaper because their reproductive organs are on the outside of their body. <laughs> I had hauled bottles and cans for a year. It takes a lot of cans to make $150. We, we can't get the dog because of the lease. When we move out and get our own house, we'll, we'll be able to get a dog then. It's just maybe going to be a year or two. Oh, that's not fair. No, it's not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, to be honest, I just I didn't think you would come up with 150 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> they had told me every night that I could do anything that I could imagine. Jacob doubted me. My father doubted me and it felt like the chair and the floor and the house and the world were being pulled out from under me. And he just kept talking like nothing had changed. You earned a dog. So, I am going to get you the next best thing. You ready? A chinchilla! <laughs> That's not even close to a dog. No, it's a chinchilla. They're actually really cool. <laughs> and just so cute and loose, I'm fucking adorable! Don't you crack my eyes! Yeah, I think, I think he's gonna make a really good Rolf. I'm not gonna waste a dog name on that! Well, maybe he's a... Ralph! <laughs> have a living consolation prize, a living reminder of my parents' death. I have a child who doesn't have enough imagination to even hear me speak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the fairies are coming tonight, Ralph. Maybe in deference to the moon, who has been begging for an audience with you. Good night, Ralph. Good night, Peter. <laughs> Moon? Did you think you will ever hear me? Uh, uh, sorry. I'm a little preoccupied. I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> uh, you're not here to hear my with your repartee? <laughs> no offense to your repartee, but I have to set in about a half an hour. <laughs> oh, you showed you told her to stick around? You the only one who has talked with me in months. <laughs> oh, well, two fishing boats and a container ship, they've already run aground because the tides are running late. I have to go. What, what if I help free you? Will you take me with you? Uh, no, uh, I travel alone. <laughs> the moon had been a fishing as since it rose. Finally, it put through an open window and it strained against the creaking structure. Finally, it ripped the house free from its foundations. <laughs> Why did the house get ripped free? What's going on? Am I dreaming? No, Jared. Wait. Do you understand me? Do you understand me when you are uh, dreaming? Of course I do. Then I would say that you are dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> the moon pulled the house up into the sky, triumphant at its catch. I had yay! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> okay, that's too much magic for one fairy. So the fairy summoned the other fairies. <laughs> Imagine it yet. Sailing over the car. <laughs> 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 